Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so it's the morning of the 30th of October, and now the storm has pretty much passed through. It's a bit cold out here, and now it's time to do the damage report. And I want to focus your attention on, um, on the back here. Looking outside my house, um, I surveyed the house my house and there's no damage but right over here last night a fence part part of a fence got knocked down right here this is my neighbor's fence some you can see some of the lawn chairs have blown over wow I mean, this is gonna take some time to repair This is uh this is the more um there are more trees here, more much more taller trees here in this neighborhood. You can see a lot more damage here than my neighborhood. Look at that. Careful here, there's live wire. And there's two of them, too.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back here at, by the Raritan River, and um, surprisingly, uh, this place held up pretty well, not too much in terms of erosion, but you could definitely tell there was flooding here. See, some of the uh, woods, wood planks have gone off. Also, look at my shoes. It's all the dirt and the and mud actually, you know, came up here, and this entire place is actually muddy. I mean, like, Look at this, I mean... Um, it's been eight hours at least since the wind has calmed down, but definitely I see the damage here. The damage has been done. Some of the dirt has uh, come on onto the road here where I would assume that's where some of the flooding were. Yeah, but I would imagine this place would have still been underwater to even at this hour, but you know, but this place did hold up a bit pretty well, except for the mud, the mud part. <laughs> All of this I'm driving on is mud, you know, so definitely this place flooded, no doubt about it. Hey you guys, I'm here with another update. Right now it's about 4.35 in the afternoon of Halloween. Yes, it's Halloween, we still don't have power. Um, so basically, um, you know, what I've been doing is, I'm, you know, once again I've been um, been walking around uh, the, the, the town and, um, you know, just seeing what's what's been done. I see a lot of uh, of utility crews working hard to uh, to survey the damage and repair um, the fallen power lines uh, from those from any fallen trees that were there. Um, we still have uh, gas, so we're actually able to cook some meals, you know, and we're still we're still able to have hot meals um, during the course of the day, which is uh, which is good. Um, we got um. We have a, a heater, like not a, an electrical one, obviously, but we actually have a a fire, you know, you know, fire heater or whatever you call those things, um, keeping us warm. Um, right now, it's um, you know, the window f of getting the power back on is about um, three to five days, uh, maybe a, a little bit more. Um, but um but they're slowly getting the power back um you know I'm I keep the radio on and I keep um listening to further updates on on uh, what the situation is in the other surrounding communities of of Parlin Serval um but uh, as of now um you know still no power and um and uh, I'll update you once we get the power as we draw Halloween to a close, um, let me just give you a final update uh, from today. Obviously, um, you look around me and there's there's still uh, no power. I still got these two lanterns uh, providing uh, light. But today, uh, Governor Chris Christie toured uh, my hometown of uh, Parlin, uh, Parlin Cerebral, Um And I'm pretty sure he um, he was looking at uh, the extent of the damage uh, from Hurricane Sandy, particularly uh, the Raritan River and the Raritan Bay, um, which experienced uh, 
uh, quite a storm surge, I would assume. Uh, I didn't get the full report, so um, I'm just guessing, you know, the areas where he would likely uh, explore. Um, probably, probably as well as um, the street where those two big 100 foot tall trees uh, came crashing down and knocking those uh, power lines and poles out. Um, I actually may have uh, saw him uh, today, not like, not in person, but I was walking down uh, a street by my neighborhood and I saw, um, you know, vehicles with uh, police escorts and I didn't know what it was or who it, or who it was originally until I heard the the radio reporting that that Governor Christie uh, came to to my town. Um, also, obviously, with power still out, trick or treating, you know, was a no go today. Um, but Governor Christie has announced that um, that trick or treating and the the official celebration of Halloween will happen. Uh, next Monday, November 5th. Um, so I think that's pretty much good news. I mean, obviously we're going to be trick-or-treating still, uh, but not, at, not definitely not on Halloween, so it, it is going to have a different feeling uh, to it. I, uh, I sure do hope the power does come back soon uh, tomorrow. Um, you know, I definitely, definitely, uh, this is definitely the, uh, a record. Um, of how long I've actually spent here in the dark. Never in my life have I ever gone one day without power and we've gone, what is it, it's it's almost 11 o'clock so I would, so that would be 55 hours almost or about that I've gone without power. Um, you know, so, you know, so let's just hope and pray that that that, that happens tomorrow. Um, the neighboring town of Oldbridge already has power, so that's, um, you know, that's certainly good news to hear. So hopefully we're next. And, you know, there's so much bad news that, you know, I'm reporting. Um, so I want to go on to something lighthearted, um, you know, for a change. Um, the Knicks and the Nets, obviously they're, they're, they were supposed to play tomorrow, um, but, um, but due to the nature of this storm, uh, that's been uh, postponed. I was so looking forward to that game, but uh, I'm gonna have to wait for all that that cheering and screaming in front of the TV to for another day. And then the following game, the Knicks were to go against the Miami Heat. I would assume that that's gonna be uh, postponed as well. Um, I mean, I mean, like I know both of them aren't really good news, but I mean, I I, I like to talk about. It's it's nice to bring up basketball, you know, once in a while, you know, in uh, in the midst of all this um, this all this chaos that we're going through. So that's pretty much it for the final updates of October thirty first, two thousand twelve. Um, I'll see you see you tomorrow if there's uh, any further updates.